Start spreading the ooze. Yeah, baby, we're in New York, New York at Threat Life Stadium. The fans here can always expect high rent, high Broadway ticket prices, and high body counts, along with the smell of urine in the streets. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Brain Washington Cadavers battle, the New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now. They all have. <laughs> Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Well, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster and then warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. <laughs> Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Ruin it. And they'll bring up third down and seven. And he, made, oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. When did we become so numb to all this? I uh, honestly can't remember. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the quarterback calls us. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one, hot two. And they run it for a couple of yards. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And the quarterback, oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah! in circles Two. 
Second down and seven. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. was a bone crusher right there, folks. Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps on side to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First and four. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. What the high cool? Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads and kimchi. No matter anything, really. Thick. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on the run. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And it's first and ten. And that's another turn. Boom! See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fair. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and six. And like a, and the 
ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Briggs. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to... The offense lost another running back and only to remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Third down and long. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. Oh, nice hit. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle, and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. He's His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. 
straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. First down and six. And that'll be second and eight to go. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not going to... And he laterals the ball! Man, these guys like playing high-risk ball. Oh, with the brutal hit! Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, like the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! And that'll bring up third and one. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Man, he shoveled his feet. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. hit that's the way you do it let him have it and then take it away second down and ten hot, hot one. Hot. and another interception man what a hit that was the ref calls a penalty you know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Still bet, Jarks. Yo, guys, suck. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. He's not going down. Oh, he just got crushed. Third and four. And the 
QB might as well just no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot like a human cannonball first down i know i said never hit a man when he's down it's just plain lazy nice extra effort there first down and forever hot, hot one hot two hot three You've got to catch that. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one. Hot two, hot three. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Time out time just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I... With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game.
and it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Second down in a very lot. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Oh, man, what a throw! Just cleared the field for the receiver. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Hey. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. And he just slipped away. Like Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. 
and it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Whoa, Mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know what's going with. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. And they say to Delhi, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the... Uh... is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot... It's a zap! A devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. And the defense recovers the ball. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot two. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Third and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Trying to, and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Don't want to make.
make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. You can't keep a good mutant down. Pow! With the brain scrambler. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense goes one speed. Man, that defender just... Oh, and he breaks free and his nookie but open field. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. <laughs> Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Boom. Dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, no, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Third down and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot two. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way! Well, the 
it should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First down and one. into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. The defender says, I don't think so. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am... And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Pool Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horses out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. I think I blow a play, but the blow up on a play? Then it's the team. Now you should learn from this. He's dead, you moron. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Red, can I kill him? Oh, great play by the defense. 
The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. He could go all the way. Here comes the defense. Oh, so close, but not today. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. No little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The onside kick's the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. And he's off to the races. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically a quarterback tips on dinner. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And the defense gets another pick. Man, oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Republican congressman hit. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The New York tyrants were eviscerated today and leave a wake of blood and tendons in this forfeit loss. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.